Wearable technology has been around for many years now. It's quite a broad field involving, in many cases, textiles and electronics. That's why it's called wearable technology. So it's about um, things that we wear close to the body. It can be either accessories or textiles or clothing or things that we interact with uh, that come near us. Um, wearable technology is therefore in the intersection of uh, art, fashion and technology. And in most cases it has to do with uh, ubiquitous computing, um, um, networked communication, electrical engineering, things like that. So the main goal is to um, enhance textile services with electronics. And yeah, it's such a broad field, it can have many more ways how it is described or how it is um, put into a project, but that's basically the basics of it. So intimacy is a series of dresses that can become transparent when electrified. Um, Daan Roosegaarde approached V2Lab to um, develop uh, a dress out of new material that he found in the industry, which is normally used for privacy glass in cars. The first dress we made um, was with the white material, Intimacy White, and um, it gets transparent when you take a picture. So it gets so fast transparent that your eyes will not see it, but when you get home and you uh, see your picture, you will see, um, well, the dress fully see through. Intimacy Black is the second dress that we made. Um, it gets more transparent the closer you come to a person. Um, so normally when you see the dress, it's um, uh, like a normal dress, you cannot see through it. But the closer you get, the more transparent it gets. Um, and you can imagine that's giving a whole new interaction with the person that you are approaching. Because um, the more intimate you are with this person, the more you see of the body. And that's not the interaction you normally see on the street. Uh, Shareware is a pair of dresses that can physically slot together and if the dresses connect they will activate um, lights so it will um, uh, shed pools of light and give nice atmospheric um, um, effects. Um, it was a project done with Di Mainstone, she was a fashion designer and this project was really about the interaction that you could have with one and each other because it's a pair of dresses so you have to connect physically together and it works really well with an audience because the audience could also be involved in reconfiguring the dresses, um, changing the way the light behaves by really physically moving parts and sticking them on the dress in a different way. Uh, so that works really well when presenting it uh, to people in the streets. Um, Psydomorphs is a series of dresses that can paint themselves. Um, the dress consists of a virgin white felt material and a neck piece um, through which ink is flowing onto the dress. So the ink is dripping drop by drop onto the, the white material, therefore painting it very slowly more and more purple. Um, the way the ink is flowing onto the material is um, yeah, different each time because of changes in the material and uh, different stitches. So this will result in very uniquely dyed pieces uh, each time you do it. Um, at the back side you will see um, pneumatic control valves, which will pump the ink up through um, several tubes that are coming from behind the back onto the front in the collar, the neck piece. And from there it trickles down very slowly um, through some tubes onto the white dress. Bravo is a big piece of, of textile that can be hanged from a wall and when you um, slightly um, touch the, the conductive thread on, that is um, embroidered on the textile, it will um, sing fragments of a song. So by sliding through it and touching it, you will hear the song um, um, yeah, sung to you. And Bravo is making use of the coding system for blind people with the little dot, it's called Brian. Um, so if you feel it and touch it, you can actually read. So that's a nice translation to the song that you can hear and the thing that you can read with your fingers. It's a tactile um, piece of work. It's inspired by uh, an article by Bruce Sterling, which was um, written in the book for Imaginary Media. And it points out that uh, new media becomes obsolete way more fast than the old ones.
So there's a lot going on in this field and there's uh, many people that are interested to participate. So that's why we have several formats uh, at V2 to collaborate uh, on, on the thing. Um, one thing that we organize is an e-textile workspace. It's a monthly event where we gather with um, enthusiast people. It's very informal. We all sit together and share knowledge on projects. Um, we discuss um, uh, topics that are, are hot at the moment on, on wearables. It's more thematic, but we also um, show each other's uh, latest materials that we found. Um, we share websites or interesting things. Um, it's really an OP open for everyone, so um, yeah, it's announced on the V2 website and everything we say there is also documented there, so you can read more if you like. Another thing that we have is workshops. Uh, it's not on a regular basis, but we uh, invite people from abroad um, to organize a, organize a one or two day uh, workshop in which uh, you learn very practical skills, um, so you can attend the workshop and actually make things and get to know uh, things about soft circuitry or yeah, very basic things and we also do more advanced level. Uh, a third way to collaborate um, is an artist in residency. That's if you are an artist and you have a great idea then you can come to the lab, physically be here for a period of a few months and then together with the lab and our developers you can create a project. So the nice thing of working together on, on wearable technology is that um, it really merges um, fashion with gadgets, with art, with technology. So you end up working together with a very varied group of people and it's really fun doing so.